so I'm working on my third section. I'm not really sure why the last video stopped <laughs> or where I left off. So I'm just picking up from here. So what I'm doing now is really focusing in this section because this is, I don't know if I want to say it's seen more, but kind of, I guess that's sort of what I want to say. So you can see I'm still angling my blow dryer down, making sure that it's nice and smooth, that I don't have too much hair being moved by the blow dryer more than I want. At this point, if I wanted volume, I would change my brush and I would start to add some round brush to it um, and lift up like this, which gets me volume, which you see me doing just a little bit with this brush. But most of the reason I'm doing that is because I'm trying to get the base or my scalp really dry. What I'm also doing now is I'm using the shape of my head. So you can see here that I'm using the shape of my head to smooth out my hair. Not too focused on the ends at the moment. And now I'm going to switch. I'm going to do the other side. And I do have to change the angle of my elbow maybe. If I left it back here, it wouldn't be blow drying quite the same. Um, for me, my left hand is much stronger. That's my dominant hand. So I do have to really pay attention to where my right elbow and things are when I'm blow drying. Again, I can use the shape of my head. I can use the shape of my head to um, smooth that hair out. Notice I'm really not moving the blow dryer. I am moving just my hair. So I'm gonna go this direction now. So I'm gonna turn around so you can see that too. I can tell that this hair is just a little wet. I can also feel that the mid shaft is not dry now. So I'm going to switch that to go back to this side. Now I can get back in and just focus on the middle. Making sure that the middle and the ends are dry. It's really important that your hair is dry if you have any wave or curls to your hair because if not it's going to revert back throughout the day. can also see that I've been making sure that even though I'm concentrating the air down my hair shaft for the whole reason of my hair, it's also so I don't um, burn my scalp. That's really important to not do too. I focus a lot more on that on my clients than I do myself though. I mean, if I burn myself, it's one thing, but I really pay attention to that when I am blow drying clients. Okay, so here's my top. You can see if you wait too long, you start to get dense like this if it gets too dry. So if it does get too dry, you'd have to use a water bottle and blow it back out straight um, or change the tool you're using or more tension on your brush. The more tension you have, the straighter it is because you're pulling that hair. But again, be careful. This is my fragile area. I have a lot of chemicals done to the furry front. You know, I get a touch up often. Just say in about two weeks, I'm gonna be really do. So I use a lot of bleach or lightener on my front. If you're blonde, you would too. So you wanna be much more cautious about how much tension and how much heat you're using. Okay, so I'm going to switch to this side. This side, sometimes I will get in there and blow it out like this because for me, this is my heavy side, right? It's on, um, I have more hair on this side because of where I part it. So sometimes I need to blow dry that off of my face 
because it gets too heavy. And then it'll be in my face all day. And the angle in which you blow dry is a big, big part of how it's going to be once it's dry. And you can see I'm still really just focused on my scalp. So what I'm doing now is, again, I'm blowing out the base or my scalp first before I concentrate on the mid shaft and ends. I'm also blow drying this farther back from my face because again, I'm heavier on this side. So I really wanna make sure that that hair stays away from my face. Now what I'm doing is I'm using the curve of my head to create that smoothness in the back. I also don't want it to split in the back. So I'm joining all of that hair together. And then once I have the top dry, then I can go back in and now I can focus on these ends. Now I was telling you earlier that, you know, I make it come under, oops, switch my hands again. I make it come under so that it doesn't really flip out. This also depends on what type of haircut you have, how many layers you have, that kind of thing because our shoulders and our body shape sometimes will dictate if our layers stick out. Notice how I'm not really focusing just on the top. I'm doing all of it. And my heat is much lower now. So now I'm going to comb this out and I'm gonna double check it to make sure everything feels dry. Now, it might feel dry right away because your head is warm and the top of your hair might be really warm because you just blew it out. But you wanna make sure that you give it a few moments to cool and then you can run your fingers through it and make sure that the scalp is dry. And of course, the scalp is the number one area we want dry then we can work towards the bottom. There, and there it is. There's my blowout to smooth out my hair. And I do have to say, I got a little, got a little closer to the mirror so I can see it. Um, this was a good blowout today. I'm seeing a little less um, of the flyaways and the damage that I created when I was um, in quarantine. So, and I know a big part of that is because I've been blow drying it a little bit more. I've been taking a little more care of it, um, paying a lot more attention to it now that I'm starting to, you know, we're getting out and about a lot more. The last thing that I do before I'm done is I put a little bit of hairspray right along the part line and then I will take a comb or the wet brush again and I'll just run it through. And that helps to hold down any sort of flyaways I may have. And I do have a few in the front, um, and that's for a couple of reasons. One, what I do to the front, because I do quite a lot of the lightener or the bleach in the front, so it causes a lot more breakage. Plus, it's um, manipulated a lot more. It's tucked more. It's got bobby pins in it, clips, stuff like that. So if you have a few more flyaways in the front, that could be why. But you can always smooth those down. You know, we smooth those down with hairspray. So there it is. There's my way of blow drying my hair, especially when I want it to be sleek and smooth. So at this point, I could run over it with a flat iron and seal that mid shaft and ends just a little bit more of my cuticle and get it really slick if I'd like to do that. Um, but I'm hoping I haven't blown it out too well. I'm hoping now to do um, some great curls for you in another video and show you how to do a thermal style. I'll see you in the next video.